Hey, welcome to the Windows channel and this is a video for all of those that have been upgraded to Windows 10 and find that some awkward things happen. Maybe your screen is weird or funky or stretched out or it's very bizarre. Maybe it's your sound, no sound or it's bizarre sound or it's not working well. Um, no Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi is weird or disconnects or can't connect stuff like that I've uh, I've seen reports you know across the board everywhere where there's a limited very small number of people that have little problems um, I would say that probably a lot of the people that have problems are people that might have forced update instead of waiting for the icon to say yep you're ready to go and um, some of you probably have that problem because of that uh, there's a reason why the icon doesn't say to upgrade right away uh, and it's safer to wait I would say and uh, so if that happens and you know what I've upgraded four computers here and uh, one has uh, had a little glitch with Wi-Fi uh, it connected but disconnected all the time and I didn't know why exactly so what do you do go and check for the drivers because I would suspect that most of the people that have problems like that have problems with their drivers on Windows 10. So just go into the search on the bottom left, search the web and Windows, and just type device manager. Click on the device manager that appears. And look at that list. You see my list is very nice, orderly. Everything's looking good. That's how it should look, first of all. If you have little uh, yellow triangles, or red X's that means you're in trouble there's some problems with the drivers on your machine and that's not Microsoft's fault it's not Windows fault it mostly is the fault of the manufacturer of your computer that didn't do its job to make drivers for your system that could happen um, of course there could be some glitches due to maybe improper drivers and stuff like that but most of them are probably you know bad drivers or no drivers at all so what you do if you have for example a problem with your display it's bizarre or it doesn't play well it seems really bizarre you can check your display adapter make sure your display adapter is there like here I've got an AMD Radeon HD 7600M series that driver is okay and it works very very well on my computer but you might have something called VGA driver uh, standard driver, Windows driver, that's no good. It means you have no driver, basically. Um, when there's no driver available, Windows has a basic driver that displays on the screen, but it doesn't use the functionalities of your uh, graphics chip. So what you could do is right-click on this and try update driver software. Check if there's an update for your machine. Maybe there is. Maybe it's going to update and suddenly things are going to work fine. What you can also do is click the uninstall button and once you see it's uninstalled you go into the action at the upper left and you just click scan for hardware changes. What it's going to do is going to notice that some of your hardware doesn't have any drivers and it's going to want to install drivers or see if it can install the driver. On my Wi-Fi for example that fixed the thing. What I did is I went to net network adapters I right clicked my wireless LAN driver, I uninstalled it and then I went to action and scan for hardware changes. It reinstalled it and magically my Wi-Fi is working fantastically well. And you know what, it's the same driver. Maybe there's a little glitch in the way it installed, I don't know. So by reinstalling it, it actually works fine now. Another little trick, if you come from Windows 8, if your computer was a Windows 8.1 computer what you could do is go into the match manufacturers website for example if you've got an HP computer you go to HP.com uh, Toshiba.com Dell.com whatever and check your uh, computers serial number or model number and check for drivers it's possible that on the website there's a driver made for Windows 10 for your computer if there's no Windows 10 drivers, you can try to install a Windows 8.1 driver. I've noticed that Windows 8 drivers seem to work fairly well in Windows 10, 
so you could try to just install that driver and uh, maybe new drivers updated drivers for windows 10 will appear eventually so these are little things that you can try for one thing for sure if this list is full of triangles and red x's you're already in trouble and it means your computer might not have drivers at all for windows 10 and i would say that probably if you forced update from a windows 7 computer an older computer that could be the case you might have problems with the drivers so um, it is possible and it, you know what everything's possible if you come from windows 7 and forced update it's very possible that your computer was not meant and will never be meant to get windows 10 uh, that's something that you need to check for and you know what that's not the fault of microsoft or windows it's because the manufacturer of your computer doesn't want you to upgrade to windows 10 it wants you to buy a new computer so uh, these are things to check for uh, make sure that you know the drivers are okay and uh, hopefully you know these little tricks will help you fix some of the problems you might have due to an incorrect driver incorrectly installed driver or simply because there's no drivers and at all basically and one last thing about windows 10 activation i got a ton of messages of people uh, a little scared saying well my windows didn't activate and it's it's okay it's normal probably in most cases you know what activation with microsoft's servers really full of activity right now there's a good chance that when you try to activate what happens is that it gets to the server and the server's just too busy and it just can't do it so you know don't worry it doesn't activate today wait till tomorrow day after tomorrow you know what it's going to activate at some point and uh, don't worry about it uh, the only cases where it couldn't activate is if you've upgraded either a pirated copy of Windows or you've upgraded in a way that you're actually not supposed to. Uh, but activation, you know, I've got tons of people since yesterday that told me that. I replied to them to simply wait. And the majority of them replied back, said, yep, you were right, today it activated, so just be patient. Um, once again, I see a lot of people that are just panicking right away and you just got to be real patient. Um, you know, the best computer guys are the ones that know how to wait because that's how you'll get your reward. If you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe to my channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online and I'll have tons of videos on Windows 10, so why not join us? And um, you know what? If you have any comments, questions, please feel free to ask. Uh, I have a very high volume of comments and posts, so I try to do my best. Um, I'm sorry if I can't answer everyone. Uh, I do my best, though. Thank you for watching.